So I'm curious, what's the verdict on Mike Pence, Vice President of the United States? In the comments on my videos about this election, I have seen a bevy of options from Hero all the way to Judas Iscariot. So I'd love it if you would comment down below in this video what you think about Mike Pence and why. Let's have a discussion about it. If you don't know me, I'm Nick Ricada, a small town attorney in central Minnesota turned YouTube commentator. And I've been commenting very heavily about the events of the 2020 election, specifically those between election day and leading up to inauguration day. Now, Mike Pence had a role as vice president on January 6, 2021, in reading the electoral votes in front of the House and the Senate in Congress to determine ultimately who would become president-elect of the United States. And we now know that that will go to Joe Biden, and that's been acknowledged by Donald Trump in a concession speech on January 7th, which I would encourage you to watch. It's only a couple minutes long. In that speech, Donald Trump acknowledged that they, he and his team pursued every legal avenue to fight for the election, but that ultimately it was time for a peaceful transition of power. Now, let me note that Trump had always talked about a peaceful transition of power when asked directly about it. It was his critics who manufactured this idea that Trump would not concede the election and he would resist being removed from the White House violently. That was a fantasy of the left, but was not ever supported by any statement from Donald Trump or his campaign or team. I must also remind everyone that the mainstream media was just fine with legal challenges and a refusal to concede when Hillary Clinton suggested specifically to Joe Biden that he not concede the election under any circumstances and that he pursue every legal avenue. And if you can guess the magical F word that she was suggesting would happen in regards to the election, you'll know what I'm talking about. But that being said, we now have a president-elect Joe Biden, officially recognized by Congress and read by the vice president, Mike Pence. But there was speculation leading up to January 6th that Mike Pence might do something different, and that speculation was bolstered by his own words as late as January 4th at a Georgia rally where he indicated that he welcomed the electoral challenge and that, quote, we would have our day in Congress for evidence to be heard. Now, I feel like today those words are pretty hollow. I don't see much about that. And maybe that's to be blamed on the disruption that occurred on January 6th when protesters entered the Capitol building and it had to be on lockdown. This was during the, pro the, the, this was during the challenge to the Arizona electors, the first challenge levied by a team of Republicans in the House and Senate. Ultimately, when Congress reconvened, the challenge's steam had, had run out and support for the challenge waned dramatically and only one other challenge was levied and that was in regards to Pennsylvania and it was quickly dismissed as well. That whole evidence being heard thing kind of seemed to go out the window. But that being said, people still thought Mike Pence might step in and he did not do it. Now, most people acknowledged that Mike Pence was probably going to do what he did, which was merely preside over the ceremony, but his own words and some alternative options floated by Donald Trump and by his legal team, specifically with Jenna Ellis, suggesting that Mike Pence might send electoral slates back to the states to uh, verify which one is accurate when some states had had some alternate electors submit electoral votes. Mike Pence didn't do any of those things. And he didn't seem to welcome the electoral challenge all that much. And now there is talk about him being angry with Trump and musings about the possibility of him invoking the 25th Amendment to remove Trump from the presidency, something I talked about yesterday. Now, it's also reported that Mike Pence is likely not going to do that. And in the wake of that, some Trump advisors have stepped down. And by advisors, I mean uh, high-ranking government officials like Betsy DeVos. So, what is Mike Pence's role? Where does his loyalty go? And does he have any? Were his words hollow? Was there something there, but it got defeated by the protest on January 6th? What is going on with this guy? And what is to come 
as the right enters a time of political exile. The right has lost the presidency. It did not gain control of the House, though it made some headway. But it lost control of the Senate, which means that there will be no Republican majority position or right majority position in any elected branch of government. And I'm not too keen on the Supreme Court saving the right, stepping in to intervene against a strongly left and politically violent uh, House of Representatives, Senate, and presidency. And when I say politically violent, I mean they are politically violent. They are already talking about retribution and sanction for anyone who dared question the ascendancy of Joe Biden. We'll be talking about that more as we talk about the Republican Party going into exile and the political retribution that follows. And also the video coming up probably today on impeachment, the new idea being floated in the absence of the 25th Amendment's invocation. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you want to follow along, hit subscribe, hit that bell, get notified, several videos a day talking about this and other political and legal news. And I love to hear your comments. We'll talk soon. Peace. Peace.